All right, thank you so much for staying with the Monday report. So former Nairobi governor Evans Kidero and 15 others accused persons in the 68 million shillings case will spend another night in police cells awaiting the court to decide on their bail application by tomorrow. That's around midday. So this is where the debacle began. It's 68 million shillings was withdrawn June 2011 from the Nairobi City County coffers. The first 10 million was withdrawn by transported and given to Ashira Mburu Mwangi and company advocates that's where the money was destined it was withdrawn in cash to unknown persons that was not the end of it in january 2014 a further 58 million shillings was withdrawn and transferred to Ashiramburu Mwangi and company advocates. Now that money was split into this amount of cash that you can see right here. This is the money trail. 15 million shillings was sent to Caps Limited and then eventually Caps Limited sent 14 million shillings to Evans Kidero. 10 million shillings was sent to Run Insurance Company. 7 million shillings to John Dirangu, former Nairobi mayor. 6.5 million shillings to Paul Mutunga Mutungi. 11 million was sent to Hannah Mudoni Karioki, who was the spouse of Washington. Shira and two million shillings was sent to Mwamuye and Kimani and company advocates. Hassan Mugambi was in the anti corruption court where he spent the rest of the day listening to the deliberations. Here's his report. After a heated court session that lasted close to six hours, Chief Magistrate of the Anti-Corruption Court, Douglas Ogoti, sent former Nairobi Governor Ivan Skidero and 15 other accused persons back to custody. Skidero will spend the night at the Kilimani Police Station as he awaits a bail ruling in the multiple corruption offences facing him. And you know where the court quickly realises... Prosecutor Alexander Muteti argued that the offences facing the accused persons was serious and in the current war against corruption, the court should consider stringent bail terms. The defense lawyers led by James Orengo Hiver argued that the purpose of bail is to ensure attendance and not to punish since accused persons are presumed innocent until proven guilty. The 15 people and a company or accused of illegal transaction of public money amounting to 58 million shillings, which was paid to a lawyer, Stephen Karioki, now deceased, trading as Washira Mburu Mwangi and company advocates. After a court session that lasted half a day Monday, it is yet another night for Kidero and co-accused in police custody as they await the fate on whether they will be released on bail Tuesday afternoon. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.